Hey Virgo, welcome to Alexander Tarot. Thank you for supporting this new tarot channel. Your support has been helping me grow. So please continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe if this reading resonates. Completely free to you to do. All you do is just tap that button and it's priceless to me. And it helps me to get these messages to as many people as possible. And it encourages me to keep putting out these videos. So I would appreciate it. You like you guys let me know how I'm doing, okay? It may not resonate with everyone, okay? Please keep that in mind. Never force a reading. If you're reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force it, guys, okay? If you are here for the first time, welcome as well. Perhaps you were led to me because Spirit has messages for you. Um, cross watchers, you are welcome here. And also, keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Again, if... If it don't apply, let it fly, okay? Keep in mind that time is fluid, so anytime you press play on this video, it's a time for you to receive the messages. Spirit, please show me the messages that we have today in love for Virgo, please. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull your current energy and your persons, and we're gonna take it from there, okay? Spirit, please show me the messages that I need to see for Virgo, please. Show me the current energy, please. Show me Virgo's current energy. Your current energy is the lover's Gemini energy. Spirit, please show me Virgo's person's current energy, please. Okay, your person's current energy, two cards came out for that. I got the tower reversed and the queen of wands. That never happens for energy. Two cards at once. Wow, okay. I can see where we're going with this already. Show me the messages. Show me the messages for Virgo, please. Wow, the messages are just flying out here, okay. This makes perfect sense. Wow, I feel like already the energy, I had to take a deep breath. I feel like this is in a very intense connection to who, whoever you're connecting with at this time. I feel like it's been taxing. With this lovers, I feel like you're trying to decide between two different directions. Like you're trying to make a major choice in love, okay? I feel like you're contemplating something. That's why you're here. You, um, I do feel like you felt like this person and you are like soulmates. And there's a deep sexual connection with this person that you're with. You feel like you're kindred spirit, some of you. Um, but you're trying to decide what to do. I'm getting conflicting energy. Your person's current energy is the Queen of Wands reverse and the Tower reverse. I'm Aries energy. Um, I feel like your person's trying, there's, there's like resisting change here, but it's like, it's going to just be a disaster if they don't. There's a queen of wands reverse here. So I feel like your person's involved with someone else, okay? And again, there, there's a change that they need to make that they're not making. And it's like, it's going to be forced upon them. Again, the spirit is saying they're delaying the inevitable. You know, like playing with fire, I feel like almost, with this Queen of Wands and speaking reverse. Speaking of fire, that's fire energy. It could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, or it could be any sign. But um let's get into this. In a recent past, I see uh five of pentacles. So someone in this connection um decided to you know reach an agreement. There was conflict, a lot of drama, and then someone in this connection decided that let's you know, let's come together, let's compromise about this, you know, let's end this this this, this drama that we have between us. Show me more for Virgo. Someone saw the truth about something. You know, there was a stagnant energy initially, and then it's just like someone saw the truth, okay? Um, 
some lies, I feel like some lies were exposed, okay? Someone saw that there were some lies exposed. Show me more, because this is interesting. Some sort of lies were exposed between you and your person. So. I feel like after the lies were exposed, you know, ultimately you guys decided to um, end the drama. Like there was a, I feel like there was a dramatic situation that went on, confrontation. And then you could decide, you know, we gotta end this. We gotta end this bullshit. We need to like figure out, you know, let's work on this. I'm getting. Queen of Swords here. Wow. I feel like in the in, in the past with this Queen of Swords, Spirit was trying to say, you know, now's the time for you to stand up for yourself and be clear about it, what you want, like what your needs are. Like after going through a hard time and whatever this truth was that exposed with this person, I feel like it's definitely connected to this Queen of Wands that your person is with, that's in their energy hardcore, which gives me definitely gives me strong vibes that this person at this moment is involved still with this queen of wands reverse okay and they're resisting this change it's like yo like what are you doing like this is not going to end well this is what i'm hearing so again a six of cups reverse i mean seven of cups reverse somebody got clarity in the past but spirit is saying like you know the, the, the decisions of the choice is poor Okay, yes, Ace of Wands reverse. It's like this was supposed to take off. You thought this was going to take off, but it turned out. It's like there's a hesitancy here for you to move on. I'm getting that that's your energy, Virgo. That's why you're on this lover's energy trying to make a, a major decision like about should you like two different paths at a crossroads about this connection with this person currently because there's hesitancy in the past like you agreed to come together with this person and end the drama but it's against your better judgment i'm hearing okay again a lot of fire energy a lot of passion with this person a lot of fiery fights drama there's, there's so many things wrong with this connection um, in the current position, I got the death reverse. Again, there's that inability to move forward. You could be connected with a Scorpio, by the way. Um, it's just the same shit over and over again. There's a, you're resisting change, okay? And this person is resisting change, too, because with the tower reverse. It's like they want to have their cake and eat it, too. Four of Cups. feel like there's someone here who's like regretting the decision currently that they made to keep this going with this four of cups and i also get this energy um that this is you virgo and like i get the energy of that even if someone else is checking for you you like you you know you shut them down for this person and there's a there's a lot of regret like i feel like you're focused on all these negative thoughts. It's just weighing down on you. The situation is weighing down on you heavy. Like, again, you made this decision to continue in this situation, whereas this person is still doing whatever the hell they want to do. Show me more for Virgo in the current situation. I'm hearing patience. Someone in this connection is just trying to work hard, trying to be, trying to work on it, trying to work on making it work, um, trying to have patience. I feel like that's your energy against your better judgment because there's something like your gut's telling you something's off. This is not right. I don't really trust this person. That's why you're trying to figure out what should I do, but it's hard because I feel like this person is my soulmate. Um, that kind of thing. And you're just trying to be patient, thinking that things are going to change. But with the world reverse, it's going to be the same repetitive cycle, okay? It's just like you can, you, you, what you're doing is you're self-deceiving yourself. You're causing your own disappointment, your own stagnancy. 
because you hope that this person's going to change and you're waiting around for it. And it's like, it's not coming. Show me more. Chariot reverse. I can't, yo, I can't make this shit up. The chariot reverse, cancer energy. This is, this, this situation is failing. This is failure. You're not, I'm getting someone who's like, who doesn't even have control. It's like they're out of control. Like, I feel like your person coerce you into, um, they manipulate you. They talk you into staying. You know, they, they promise you things. They, 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 they work hard at manipulating you into staying. Okay. And you feel stuck. You feel like, I don't know this. I feel like the energy being blocked by obstacles. But this person, like, if you try to walk out on them or you try to leave them or you tell them anything, they sit there and they persuade you and they talk you into staying. That's the energy that I'm getting now. In the future position, I got the six of swords reverse. Still no progress. Can't move forward. Impress reverse. There's, um, I'm getting this energy of feeling like you're not enough. Your self-esteem issues for sure in the future. It's this, this is a very, very toxic um, connection that you're stuck into currently. And it's not getting any better moving forward. You know, the future is based on the decisions that you make in the present. And, you know, keep that in mind. You have free will. So if you want to change the outcome of something for the, for the you know, to better yourself, then you can start now. I got the Hierophant here. You want a traditional commitment. You want to be with someone that you share the same values with. You know that. That's what you want. Your, intu your intuition is about a traditional relationship. Somebody who, who values me the way I value them. Something that's going to lead to marriage. Something solid. In the near future, that energy gets really, really heavy on you. Even heavier than it is now. Show me the future card, please. Show me more. Four swords reverse. I do see you, you know, trying to, you know, find the mental strength to get out of this isolated energy that you're in in the future. It's going to be challenging because, again, in, in the immediate future, I see your insecurities there and I see you not moving forward. But you are trying to find a mental strength to get out of that. I'm hearing maybe, maybe. You may be even, um, I'm getting energy that's for some of you getting therapy and sharing your feelings with somebody. Some sort of social groups that help you, you know, you know, work on your self-esteem so that you're able to find the strength to get out of this situation, this toxic situation with this person. Show me more. Two of Pentacles reverse. I just feel like you're trying to struggle a lot. You know, a lot of energy of should I stay, should I go? Should I stay, should I go? What's wrong with me? All these insecurities. Uh, Spirit, please show me the breakdown of this connection. I mean, I'm quite aware this person is definitely seeing someone else's queen of wands. Is there having their energy? Show me more. I got the King of Wands, the Hangman, and the Strength Reverse. I feel like this person came in taking charge. It's just like you were turned on by this person because it was, you know, it was impulsive. They came in like just knowing what they wanted. Very bold. I'm getting a lot of bold energy. With this King of Wands, this person that they are with, this Queen of Wands Reverse, they were like a divine partnership. Except this person is toxic like your person. Your person came in with King of Wands, though. They did. Okay? Um, it's just like they came in and they took charge. And you like that shit. That shit turned you on. You're like, this person knows what they want. You know? I like this. It turned you on. But 
with this hangman and you know it got to a point where it just felt like stagnant and stuck it's just like all that energy that they came in with you know it turned to something questionable and you're like well what the hell's going on we were going so good we were going so smooth you know i get that things are moving fast with this person you should you two were doing a lot getting out you know just just getting into shit together and you, know, you two were all over each other couldn't keep your hands off each other and then this person slowed down and then there was a situation where you know things just got stagnant and you started to feel stuck but Spirit is saying there's a need for release, to let go. So with this strength reverse, this, their, their actions of this stagnant energy and you know pulling back their energy from you, it just made you feel really um, insecure. You were like, what's going on with this person? With the strength reverse, that's Leo energy. And you're like, okay, what has changed? Why has this person stopped? Like, I get this person not, you know, being so aggressive with you. Like they pulled back their energy because they was pointing energy into this Queen of Wands reverse. So you started to feel like you wasn't enough because of something that this person did. It's, you know, so shady. This person plays mind games, I get. You know, you, you asking them certain things and they're like, you're bugging, like, what are you talking about? Like, nothing's different. You know, you're imagining this, you know, gaslighting you. The Magician card is here. That's Gemini energy again. Um, I feel like your intuition is trying to tell you something. Also, in addition to that, I said that this person is like, will come to you and be like, you're bugging and gaslight you. With this Magician, the Magician also is a smooth talker. They have the gift to gab, okay? They know how to get what it is that they wanted from you. And it worked. Because all they did was like, you, you, when you were with someone. Sorry about that, guys. My camera died or my, my phone died. Um, so let's get this going. <laughs> let's get back into this. When you are with someone, they have a choice. They, they can either build with you or destroy you. This person is manipulative. They decided that they was going to break you down. So every time that you try to leave, they convince you to come back with this magician energy. Like, they, again, it was a smooth talker. They knew exactly what to do to talk you into staying, to talk you out of your clothes. They had that about them. That was the same thing that turned you on is actually the issue in this connection, okay? So, um, let me show, show me one more for Virgo, please. In regards to the breakdown in this connection, show me one more. Knight of Pentacles reverse. This person was very selfish, very hasty with their decision makers and just greedy. And this is why they had that energy of, you know, can't make their mind up. You know, you, this, the sure, yes, this queen of wands is in the picture with this person. They're definitely seeing someone else, but they could be seeing someone else, you know, outside of YouTube, you know, this person is, is very greedy. This is, this is a very manipulative play of energy. Again, this person gaslights you. So spirit, please show me Virgo's person's current feelings for Virgo. What's their current feelings? <laughs> Not that it really freaking matters. Show me two more, please. Deception. Spirit, please show me one more. Okay. This is what it is. <laughs> Your person's feelings is they they don't have feelings. They keep their feelings out of it. This is unrequited love. This person blocks off their feelings with this Ace of Cups reverse. They don't show up for you the way you show up for them, okay? Um, and I get this energy of them being very vague when you question them about their feelings or anytime you try to have an emotional conversation with them or to let them know. Okay, give me a second. Let me address this. My chin is all in the camera and this time I didn't want to be in the camera but I get this person just like um stonewalling you when you try to ask them about their feelings or the, how they feel about you or their intentions in the relationship this is um that's deceptive energy this person knows exactly what they're doing when they do that okay um this is very unstable and um 
this is a very secure connection because this person is not willing to give you the commitment that you want. They're literally blocking off their feelings. They don't want their feelings involved. They just want to have fun. They just want to fuck around and play games. So yes, they're very vague when you try to, you know, tap in to find out what's going on with them. And with this five of swords, I get this energy of, um, I asked for the breakdown. Well, that's it. That's the breakdown. This person wants to show their feelings, but I also get that, you know, this, this, this person walking away, you know, or, you know, the energy of this person ghosting you, I'm getting, it's self-sabotaging behavior with this five of swords. That, you know, like they'll disappear on you, won't communicate for days and just show up like nothing happened. And then if you have something to say about it, then they're going to gaslight you, stonewall you, or project their insecurities onto you. That kind of thing. This person plays a lot of games. Um, wow. That's what I asked for. Their, feel their feelings are very deceptive. This person... Again, self-sabotaging behavior. This person can't be trusted. I'm getting de deception with this Five of Swords and with this Moon. Okay? You did, there's a need for you to listen to your intuition about this person. Okay? So, Spirit, please show me Virgo's feelings for their person. What is Virgo's feelings? Show me one more for Virgo's feelings in regards to this person that they're connecting with. Okay. I feel, um, I have the Ten of Wands reversed the Three of Swords and the Emperor Aries energy. It, this is how it is. See, you, you, you thought that you was going to get, like, stability with this person. You thought that because the, I get this person being older than you. Okay, for a lot of you, this person is older than you, and you feel like, wow, this person is really mature. It's because this person is so mature, they're gonna want to offer me stability. They're, they're gonna want what I want. They're gonna want a traditional relationship. They probably don't play no games because they're grown, and that's what you thought was gonna happen. And you, and for some of you, you even looked at this person like a father figure, not in a not in a sick twisted way. <laughs> um, however. The feelings that I get is that this person, you know, it's like being a dead horse to get what you want from this person, to get this relationship to work, to get reciprocated feelings from this person. And it's just caused you nothing but heartache with this three of swords. Like you're totally heartbroken from this person. Okay. Um, this person is emotionally absent, yet you are emotionally heartbroken. Okay. And you're like this, you know, I'm not getting what I want from this person. I need to release this. You feel burdened by this and you know you need to release it. With this ten with this ten of wands reverse, you know you need to release this person and it's like beating a dead horse. You know this. But you you just feel stuck. So Spirit, please show me the challenges for Virgo, please, in regards to this person. I got the Five of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Your challenge is to step out of your emotions because the challenge with the Five of Pentacles that I'm getting is that you feel like, you know, left, left out in the cold, like... Your challenge is feeling like if I leave this person, I'm going to feel like this person left me. If I'm in this relationship, like I feel like this person is leaving me. You feel this person leaving you behind because they're involved with somebody else. So I feel like already they've taken away the time that they should be pouring into you because they're dividing it with someone else. So you don't want to feel like this person left you behind. You don't want to feel like I, I get the energy of if you have an abandonment issues and that is a challenge for you to recognize that if this person leaves you, it's not, an, it's not abandonment. It's this person you do you a favor if they leave you because the thing is you really need to leave this connection, but because you can't do it, 
if it happens, it's a blessing in disguise. Sometimes a breakup is a breakthrough, okay? And your challenge also is to step into your logical thinking instead of and, and, and use discernment and to step out of your emotions. Because this person is not somebody that with this king of swords. This is the, the thing is the challenge is for you to step out of your emotions because this person is not in any much in their emotions. They're not. They refuse to. They may act like they're emotional just to get what they want from you, but they're not offering you anything emotionally. So your challenge is to step into that same energy. And so you can remove yourself from this person and without feeling like, oh no, like I, I don't know if I can leave this person. Um, I don't want this person to leave me. I don't want to be, I don't want to get abandoned by this person. Like step into your power, Virgo, and recognize like I need for you to understand this person is very, very manipulative. So spirit, um, please show me advice for Virgo. Show me advice for Virgo. Wow. There's someone around you. Someone's giving you excellent advice. That's your challenge with this King of Swords and now with this King of Cups. These two are connected. There's somebody around you giving you excellent advice about this connection. And your challenge is to listen to them. Okay, this is somebody who's not emotional. This is someone that's logical. Wow, listen to, okay. The advice that I have for you is the Page of Wands Reverse, the King of Cups, and the Three of Cups. With this Page of Wands Reverse, this, this person that you're with, this is someone that's just gonna continue to hurt you, to continue to break your heart. This is the kind of person this is. They're very impetuous, they're very sensitive. This is what this person is. You need to see them for who they are, okay? However, you have someone who understands the emotions, who's very emotionally intelligent, who's very emotionally stable and mature. I'm getting someone, like someone that you can trust, a good friend. And there's a need for you to listen to this person. The advice that I have for you is to listen to this person. With this three of cups, there's a need for you to get out, socialize, be around people, step into your happiness. You know, if you, get, if you receive an invitation to go anywhere, accept the invitation. There's a need for you to do that, to get out, okay? But I'm also getting friendship with this Three of Cups. And again, I got a friend, some sort of person around you. So this person very well may be the one that offer you an invitation for you to come out. You know, this person may, you know, may have deeper feelings and they let no one for you. I feel like this King of Cups. And this is somebody that you can trust. This is a, this is a soft place, a soft place for you to land on, okay? This is emotionally safe. With this person there's a need for you to listen to this because this person was divinely guided to you i feel like you have love for this person too i really do and i and i feel like that's why this lover is here okay um the the high priestess reverse you need to listen to your intuition that's trying to tell you something okay you're being manipulated and there's a need for you to recognize that with this high priestess reverse, okay? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull out some, I'm gonna pull some romance angel cards. Yeah, I feel strongly that this person, you know, even loves you, this king of cups. They care about you, but they're objective. They're not speaking with their emotions. They speak to you logically. They can see what's happening logically and they can give you sound advice, okay? But I also feel like for some of you, very direct message, that you're interested in this person. You know, you have a romantic interest in this person and, and, and you feel something. There's some sort of connection there that you feel and you're just wondering what you should do. So let's pull some romance angel cards. Engagement. Your love, love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah, this King of Cups, I feel strongly this is the kind of person that would that would want to, you know, take your, your connection to another level, level and, to, and be the one to commit to you. Told you i feel like there's like there's love here that's not really being discussed or experienced how do i say it's like both of you have deeper feelings for each other than you're letting on but you're not really you know you're not trying to go there new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings i had just said that i said there's someone here 
that's that this person that I told you, I said I felt it. I feel like this person has you feeling a certain way romantically. Like you feel something for this person. You have new love here. This person can give you the commitment that you want. But you're not listening to your intuition. That's why you're here and you're undecided. This person in the past is toxic. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens with this King of Cups. As you continue to be transparent with this person, the, you, the closer you're going to get to them. Okay? This is beautiful. I love this for you. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So you may have a child or children, some of you, with this person that you're trying to get away from that's just flighty and, and manipulative. Wow. I'm going to pull a couple more cards before I close up. But you have new love here. You have new love. This, I love this for you. And this person, like, loves you, like, to your soul. Like, this is my friend. Like, the, the, the base of this is friend wedding. This, this situation involves marriage. So there it is. For some of you, you're, you're even married to this person. You're married to this person. You may have child or children with this person. And this person is completely disloyal. And from the beginning, they were just manipulating you. And they never took the marriage seriously. Never. This is a player. This is a this is a narcissist. And you're like, that's why you feel stuck. You can't let go of this person. But there's a need for you to get out of this. So for those of you who are married, I advise you to get, you know, therapy. You know, get a, an attorney involved. Like, get legal help. You know, don't just come to the tower reading. Get help. You deserve love. You are lovable. I love this. You deserve love. Okay? So those are the messages that I have for you, Leo. Wow, these fell out. So let me do it. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So that's why you won't take it all away with this person. Because for some of you, you're married. But this is somebody that I feel like you've known for a long time. But so when it says new love, it's like now you have romantic feelings for this person that you knew for a long time. That was just a friend. Okay? Um, separation. Time apart from your partners on the on the horizon. The person that you're with, it's there's time apart coming up. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Playfulness. Time to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You have love here, but you also have a situation that you need to remove yourself from. You're going to need this King of Cups. Continue to be a friend. Continue to be friends with this King of Cups. Keep this person close by you because this person is somebody that you can you know, you can depend on. They're going to be your emotional support. All right. And they want to offer you love. They want to offer you something solid. And I know right now it's just about getting to know this person more and focusing on seeing them the way you see them now romantically and just getting to know them and taking your time with it. But just understand this person, they're willing to wait for you. This person has a lot of love for you. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for you on um, Virgo for this reading. If it resonated, please let me know by liking, commenting, sharing, or subscribing. I wish you healing, love, and light, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.